Right, this is the final boss in Bloodborne. This is the one you got to kill if you want to get the Platinum Trophy, and indeed a Gold Trophy for defeating her. And uh, just since it's the last, the last boss in the game, I thought I'd I'd put in two fights. This is the the first one. It's not the first time I fought her. <laughs> I fought her maybe six times in total. Uh, first time she killed me quickly. Second time I did a bit better. Third or fourth time I thought I know I've got a strategy. And then I changed my strategy the last time and found out the easy way of doing it. So, she's got a poisonous blood attack. Uh, it does fast poison. Uh, you can antidote against it, obviously, but... Uh, anyway, so this it's Yarnum, the Queen of Tomb Meru. Uh, you see her in the game. You can, actually, you can actually kill her in the game. Well, kind of. Right, this is her change in the second phase. Second phase, she actually manages to um, summon another kind of uh, a, a doppelganger. That was it. And the doppelgangers do the same moves as her, but if you if you hit them, you can actually make them disappear. There you see, that was a doppelganger. I don't think it takes any of her health away, but it just gets them uh, off your case. That attack there is really nasty. This is the real queen, obviously. Here she goes charging up. This attack, uh, I got hit by the last two fights. It basically picks you up in the air, so it drains your health and then slams you on the ground and leaves you vulnerable to the next attack. So you've got to just avoid it, and then you're fine. So I'm thinking, yeah, this strategy is good. She buggers off again. Uh, yeah, that was a doppelganger. Nasty attack there. You can shelter behind this sort of monument thing in the middle. So that's the real one. Yeah, the baby crying is a bit freaky, isn't it? That is in the game. <laughs> That's not like anybody in my house. So, see, she's down to like uh, about two thirds health now. Why does PlayStation do that? I don't know. Anyway, it's going well, but you see, there's two more of her, and she's just summoned a sort of blood sword. Get rid of. One of those. I'm trying to go for the uh, the other Goppelganger version of her. Yeah, it seems to be her. Yeah, get rid of the Goppelganger. It's all going well, it's all going well. I'm thinking that, you know, maybe this is the time. I'm going to get her this time, I'm going to get that gold trophy. And, uh, and then she pulls out that move. Yep. And I'm glad I wasn't standing next to her when she pulled out that last move. So at this point I thought to myself, damn, this is this is difficult. Uh, I'm gonna need some serious better strategies here. But well, give it another go. changed my gun and that was a very good idea so the gun I used in the last fight does lots of damage it fires two silver quick silver bullets and with with the um, bone meal ash it does pretty good damage but when she's got so much health it really doesn't make that much difference on the other hand the blunderbuss doesn't do very much damage but it is the best gun in the game I think for parrying. So same strategy at the beginning. Avoid this. Okay. Avoid that as you can see it does more than half of your health. Avoid that. It also builds up poison. 
a chance to heal up. Some good uh, pro level dodging there. You can't go in too soon because the uh, blood kind of hangs around a bit and it will hit you. But as long as she's doing this, it's not too bad. But obviously the second stage of the fight is going to come in when I've got her down to uh, about a third of her health and she becomes a bit more dangerous. However, she builds a knife out basically here. And uh, what's this? She's going to attack me with the knife and boom, down she goes. At this point I thought, hang on. Hang on. If she's vulnerable to parrying, and she is, you can even trade with her a little bit because you get all your health back when you do that. So hit her a couple of times. She's uh, charging up the gun, the life to be a, a bloody knife, but she hasn't summoned anybody, and she's just as easy to parry in this stage as well. actually not only parry her but also and there he goes again not only parry her but also basically block her from doing anything else all of her dangerous attacks and uh, it ain't no thing wait for it wait for it Oh yeah. And I even kept my blood echoes. And I got a